Ladies and gentlemen, the next bout is for the A Amateur 152 pounds title. This is scheduled for three two minute rounds. Please help me in introducing fighting out of the Dynamic Mortgage Concepts Red Corner, Corey Madden. Ron Goldstein, what did you think when this fight was announced? Well, <laughs> fight of the night, man. This is exactly what I thought. I absolutely love both of these fighters. Corey Madden, I said it earlier before the telecast started, JR, he reminds me of Invasion of the Body Snatchers. This guy is a murderous body attacker. If you've ever wanted to see someone literally destroy a body, watch Corey Madden attack. He's amazing to watch. And he's such a humble kid that he's just, he's all about leaving it in the cage. I mean, we saw what we did to George Rangel a few months back, and uh, I expect to see nothing different in this outing. It was like Rocky in a meat locker. It really Jump was. It body. really was. Corey Madden comes in under the tutelage of Nick Bushman, longtime fighter here in Colorado. As we take a look at the tail of the tape, Corey Madden comes into us here at 31 years of age, 5'8", 152 pounds, and 1-0 and with a devastating body attack. Brawler style it is against his opponent, Mr. Donovan Alirez, 22 years old, 5'8", 152 pounds. Great experience advantage for the boxer, Donovan Alirez, coming in at 6-1. and one. Ladies and gentlemen, help me introduce his opponent, fighting out of the blue core shooting range blue corner, Donovan Alirez. And Alirez, a younger man compared to his opponent, but does have the experience advantage. And make no mistake about it, even though he's younger, he grew up around the boxing game. He's been doing this for a long time. Uh, this is a, uh, as far as I'm concerned, this is a legendary family here in Colorado. I mean, all the way from high school right now, congratulations to Andrew Alirez, who just captured his third state wrestling title a week and a half ago, or a week ago, I should say, last weekend. Um, it just goes to show you what this family is all about. These guys are just unbelievable competitors, really iconic here in Colorado, and just tough, as tough as they come. Careful bouncing off the ropes. They're not that tight this evening. <laughs> <laughs> you might catch somebody here. Get a couple of tall heavyweights in there. That could be an issue. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, fighting out of the Dynamic Mortgage Concepts Red Corner. Please help me in welcoming Corey Madden. <laughs> and his opponent, Fighting out of the blue core shooting range blue corner. Please help me in welcoming Donovan Alirez. Your referee for tonight's amateur 152 pound title match is referee Tom Johnson. All right, gentlemen, this is for the 152 pound strap. I want a clean, fair fight. This made all times. Protect yourself at all times. Let's touch gloves and get after it. There it is, oh, ladies baby. and gentlemen. Oh, baby. I feel like I should be standing up right now. 
Tom Johnson brings the 152-pound <laughs> title contenders their final instructions, and away we go with punchy punchy time. This was my pick for fight of the night, guys. So let's see how it plays out on Ron's <laughs> predictions. <laughs> That's right. Beautiful inside right hand from Erlier as early. And I'm already seeing from Madden improved head and body yep. movement compared to what we've seen previously. So he's been putting in his time in the gym. We can see it immediately. You know, you're gonna, you're gonna look for Corey Madden to kind of corner Donovan Alirez, get him in trouble in the corners, kind of pin him there and not let him get out. And you're gonna see him really unload and, and let his hands go to the body. That's his trademark, so. And there, and there it, is. it is. And I think you would have to get Alirez into the corner yep. in order to unload those shots because he has some of the best footwork in the division. And uh, oh, big right hand lands for Alirez. And I'm noticing Alirez wearing the Colorado socks. Nicely done, sir. <laughs> Suppose underhooks don't really matter here. <laughs> I like what I see out of Alirez with that jab. That jab is allowing him some freedom and some opportunities here. But I don't like what I see out of that uppercut with Alirez. He's keeping that chin way up high. And you're seeing Corey Madden tuck down, get low. And now we're going to start seeing these guys unload. And Madden listed his style as brawler and starting to show that here as he's getting Alirez's back up against the ropes. That's where Madden really starts to go to work. And 10 second clacker sounded. And you're right about the chin coming up on Alirez at I told times, you. goodness. Yeah, it's a good sportsmanship right there. Fantastic first round, just exactly what we expected. Donovan Alirez showing that good footwork. He's always going to have that advantage in almost <laughs> any fight he's in. I was just going to say the same thing. <laughs> I, know. I know. I had to jump in in front of you. Sorry about that. <laughs> no, you. no, you're absolutely <laughs> right, though. You know, it, it, it's, it's, it's just a trademark of that family. And here we go as we take a look at the Blue Core Shooting Center replay. We're seeing Alirez right there. And there's that chin way up in the air yeah. on Alirez that we noticed. And you're seeing Corey Madden seeing the same thing, trying to land that right over the top. And Alirez grabbing the head, circling his way out, but Madden continues that attack. Two tough, tough kids. Second round. <laughs> Big smile from Mr. Madden. I love these guys, man. I love both these guys. They really are spectacular fighters. And I think that the feeling out process is now gone out of that first round. Now you're going to probably see some urgency out of both of these guys. Oh, beautiful right hand. And or Lee Rez, you see the aggression come up on the meter, but his face doesn't change. It's not anger. It's not worry. It's not rush. It's just, okay, it's picking time a shot. to do this, and this is what we practiced in the gym. Yep, he's picking shots. And this is like what I was talking about. You're going to see Corey Madden try to corner Alirez, not let him off those ropes, kind of keep him, keep him packaged up to where he can start to throw. But there's that chin up in the air. As Alirez is looking for that uppercut, that's a risky game with a big hitter like Corey Madden. But boy, look at the read that Alirez has on yes. some of Madden's punches. Yep, he sees it's him like he's playing a video game and he knows where it's going to be and just you know, it doesn't matter if you miss by an inch or by a mile, and Alirez making a miss by just an inch. That's right. But like you said, it just takes that one. Both of these guys can really crack, and you're seeing, you're seeing the, the focused look right there of Corey Madden as he kind of starts to zone in on the body. And the corner of Madden telling him more than one. Combinations, combinations is what they're screaming for. There's the body shot, and Alirez talking to the referee about something, I think. Not sure what he's unhappy with. I think with. he was complaining about a low blow. Yeah, yeah, you're right. That's what he's indicating. 
Referee Tom Johnson didn't see it that way. And now you're starting to see Alirez and Madden let their hands go. See if we can get that uh, apparent low blow on the replay in between rounds here, because it does look like we're going into the next round. Look at these two go. Nice brawl. What a second round, holy moly. And like, uh, like our referee Tom Johnson, I missed the low blow. I didn't see I it. I didn't Ron, see it either. So. I really didn't see it. I think, uh, I think, you know, one of the things that you can learn from that, though, is you cannot lose focus at all, not even for half a second in the fight. You saw Donovan Alirez look away, almost like he did absorb a low blow as we take a look at this replay here. We're seeing Madden put that heavy pressure on Alirez in that corner, and that's where he lets his hands go. And Alirez having some trouble in his Boom. corner. Two body shots, they, yeah. were, they were clean. Definitely clean, and, and look, kudos to Corey Madden for continuing to fight. Yeah, I got to wait for the referee to step in and pull it off. And like I said, uh, Alirez having some trouble in his corner between rounds, starting to spit into the bucket, almost like he was on the verge of having a little uh, yakety vomit yakety action yak. going on himself. Yakety yak, <laughs> I was searching for something clever. <laughs> I got your back, buddy. Don't Third and final back. round. <laughs> Starting to see Madden kind of force his way in and control that distance, which is exactly what he wants to do. He wants to be inside. He wants to attack that body. That is his thing. And he wants to slow down the footwork and the movement of Alirez as Madden lands a beautiful uppercut. And look at the right hand land for Alirez. And this is the fight that I thought was going to happen. And even off of the ropes, Alirez going at it. Now there, I thought I did see a low blow. And yeah, Alirez indicating a little bit. But Alirez's corner is saying, just keep Forget fighting. Forget it. Yep. Yeah, Madden looking for a little payback for that combination that he was on the receiving end of. Both these guys digging hard. What a great third round. Wow, this is why these guys are in a title <laughs> fight. Absolutely. Look at them go. Ron, how did you feel when this fight was announced? <laughs> <laughs> fight of the night, baby. Fight of the night. I knew what these two guys would have. And the corner of Madden saying, punch your way in. They don't want him eating shots on the way in, especially late in the fight. They want him moving his hands to bridge that gap. And we're seeing Alirez get a little sloppy right now. He's getting a little wild. And you're seeing Madden just tuck his chin, stay right in front of him, put his forehead on his chest, and fire away. And these guys are landing hard shots right now. Big overhand rights landing for Madden. And Madden pouring it on and chasing Alirez. Looks like he's got Alirez exhausted. And over here in Madden's corner, in his corner, imploring him, keep those hands moving. And he will oblige. 10 second clock or sound, and that brought a little bit out of Alirez. There's Stand the bell. Up, really. What a great fight. And that's just the first of two title fights. Beautiful, beautiful job. I love watching these guys fight for that specific reason. They deliver every time. Yeah, you never have to wonder what you're going to get when you see them signing here on the replay just back and forth right and left first one and then the other really even trades in the exchanges one would seem to have an advantage but they don't the other would <laughs> bite down on his mouthpiece and answer right back and going to be interesting to see how the judges call this one referee <laughs> or uh, not referee excuse me doc alex in the ring giving his thumbs up of appreciation because we were talking about this fight beforehand and he was saying, yeah, it's gonna be a banger. I knew what this kid can do. <laughs> I loved it. <laughs> Corey Madden asking us if we liked it. Yeah, we loved it. <laughs> Always a good time, sir. This kid's special. And, I, and I'll tell you this right now, Donovan Alirez showed me a ton tonight as he always does. And here we are taking a look late in the third. We just see both these guys letting their hands go. Man, you see just loading up on that body. right. 
right and left. Just, man, talk about full shoulder, hip, ankle rotation. Everything into those body hooks. Beautiful. And Alirez right over the top. And you can see Alirez dropping the hands and the elbows in tight to protect that body. And Madden just plods forward like a bull. And that's where Alirez had some success is when Madden Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards. Judge Hale Hilsebeck judges the bout 29-28 Madden. Judge Tyrone Shorts judges the bout 30-27 Alirez. Judge Carmen Bales scores the bout 29-28. And your winner by split decision. And your 152-pound champion, Corey Madden! So it's the body attack, the continuous forward pressure, the unwillingness to take a step backward paid off for Madden in this fight. Well done, young sir, well done. And again, Stand a, up, Greeley, and applaud these two. And against a very tough, very skilled opponent. All right, Corey. You took to the center of that ring and you stuck there the whole fight. And then you had him against the ropes quite a bit. Was that the plan going in? Uh, the plan was just to let everything unfold. I came in just fighting how I fight and he gave me a good fight. So just had to work with what he gave me. It looks like he came back in that third round though. How did you feel? Did you, were you a little rock there? Uh, no, not really. I didn't really get dazed at all. I mean, it's kind of hard for me to get dazed, but. He's got some good uh, combos, I felt, but it was good. And who would you like to thank tonight? Oh, geez, Nick Bushman, Coach Rick Lopez, my sponsors, DNN Motorsports, Hydrodynamic Services, uh, Do or Die Salon, and Alpine Electric. I mean, everyone that just helped me out through this process, it was good. All my friends and family that are here, it's cool. Well, congratulations, everyone. Give him a round of applause, your champion. What?